Hey guys, so you know those really nice fancy cards that we saw? The Full Art Lilianas, the Con Liberated, Ancient Tomb. Well, they are box toppers, but they are box toppers for a set called Ultimate Masters, which is what $335.76 per box or $34.99 per free pack blister pack. One ultimate box topper per box, 24 packs per box, 254 cards, 15 card booster packs, one premium foil per pack. So Ultimate Masters is a Masters of the Masters. Now, why would I tell you not to buy this set? It is encouraging them to make bad behavior. So I play lots of really greedy games, like Fire Emblem Heroes is very greedy. They don't produce any new content, and they want my money. So what do I do to prevent them from being greedy? I don't spend money. That's the same thing I said about Modern Masters 2015 when they were doing the really dumb idea of the recyclable paper packs that damaged all the cards. Like it was, you could shake the card pack and you could just hear the damage going on. Well, I didn't buy any of that and a lot of people didn't buy that product so the recyclable pack went away. It wasn't because Wizard of the Coast suddenly knew that, oh, Maybe we shouldn't get recyclable packs. No, they didn't. No one in Wizard of the Coast knew that. It was because sales went down and they saw the problem as the recyclable pack. Did they really care about the environment that much? No, because they went straight back to the normal plastic packs. So all that BS about environmental, all we care and eco stuff, ecosystem, they did not care about that. It hurt their bottom line and back to the plastic wrapping, wrapper packs we went. Modern Masters 1 was great. People remember it very fondly because the MSRP of a pack was $6.99. The MSRP was not $9.99 where it later became. It was $6.99 and the cards were actually better than the $9.99 packs that would later come. And Modern Masters, the original Modern Masters, is still regarded as the best even though the MSRP was lower. So for them to be this greedy, for them to be this, you have to say no, because if you continue to buy this product, but I continue to buy this product, I'll be honest, I continue to buy mod, what is it, Masters 25. I have boxes and cases of that because I thought it was a good deal. But that behavior encourages them to do even dumber stuff like this. This is very heinous in my opinion. $335 for 24 packs. $335 is enough to buy the Super Smash game times 5 that, come, that is going to be released the same day. And how many hours of entertainment and fun can you get from that game? And a lot of you will say, oh, it's not a good proper comparison. You need to compare it to other card games. Fine. Let's compare it to Pokemon, Wise, Cardfight, Vanguard. Nobody has a box that is $335 for 24 packs. And did this take them more work? You know, a lot of times when they say like, oh, we need money, it's because they need to develop their product, right? They need to, quote, play test with Manor Wedge, right? They need to fly the Manor Source out there to tell them how awesome the cards are going to be in standard because he's a Pro Tour expert. They need to play test them and develop new cards. This is just laziness, right? A master set is them reprinting every single card in the set. There's no new work. They're not being creative. These are cards we've seen reprinted in another master set. Krakus, Lily, Snap, Cavern, Cavern, Lily, Snap. They were all in one set. I mean, these cards are reprints. They shouldn't be more expensive. I, I don't understand. It costs less money to make this product than it does to make a normal standard box because there's no playtesting, there's no development, and that is the majority of your expense, right? Printing is very cheap, especially the crappy way that you do it, right? The crappy way that Wizard of Coast does it. So this is horrible. 
this is horrible. Now, this is, I like the product and I was very, very positive of the product because I felt like this product would be placed in, you know, one per case or one per box of a standard set. So you would get your standard card to play with and then you would get eternal card to take forever and have value. No, this is probably the worst case scenario in my opinion because you know what happened? This is a new mythic rarity. Let me repeat this. It is a new mythic rarity. So it is somewhere between a masterpieces, which is one or two per case, and a mythic, which is two to four, possibly five or even six, depending on your luck, per box. This one is one per box, six per case, or six, four per case, because these cases only come in fours. This is outrageous and we should not support this behavior because if we support this behavior, if we really, if we support this behavior and we tell them, oh yeah, great, let's let everyone give them thousands of dollars before Christmas. You know what's gonna come out next? A $500 box and then a $1,000 box and then a $2,000 box. These aren't even good cards, forgot. Like these not even on a reserve list. These are not dual lands, power nine, like, Imagine the price that a set like this would fetch if instead of these uh, man lands that are like not that valuable, Lava Claw Reach, Sterling Wildwood, anybody, you had underground seas. That's the next step. If we encourage them to do this behavior, we're going to see $500 boxes, $1,000 boxes. Like, look, let's take a look at rarity, for instance. When we had Tamagoy from Future Sight, we didn't have a mythic. We went into Lorwyn and we had the Planeswalkers and they were mythic and they felt like, okay, maybe it's special. That was a huge change. That was a huge change. So instead of a rare per pack, we would get two to four mythics per box. And guess what? All the really good cards are mythics. JC Mindscope there, anybody. Emical. All right, fine. That, that's bad. But then we get into the mythic of mythics. A foil mythic and we called it a masterpiece and people wanted to clap their hands and said yep that's awesome congrats way to go now we have this which is somewhere between a masterpiece and a mythic yeah they are just milking us for all of our money and we have to say no because if we do not say no and we don't let this product fail the, the next time that's we're going to have a $500 box the next time we'll have a thousand dollar box and you might be like how do you know this MTG Lion how do you know because I collect sports cards there are products called eminence and baseball and football and I don't know about baseball I just do uh, basketball basketball and football there's a product called eminence uh, you can get a Kobe Kobe version of it, and it's $24,000 for a box. We didn't start with, with Eminence. Like, this hobby didn't start with a $24,000 box. We started with something called, it came in a briefcase. I'm blanking on its name because I only buy Eminence now. Uh, Panini Gold, and it's a, the company is, I think it's still Panini, but they started with a $500 box, and then people bought it out. Then they went with a thousand dollar box and people bought that too. Then they went with a five thousand dollar box and people still kept buying. Then they went with a ten thousand dollar box, which at that point you might be like, oh, hold, you know, flawless. That was what it was called. It was called flawless. And that was the premiere until eminence, which was triple the price of flawless, which at the time was insane. It was five figures. So that is what's happening with Magic, and I can tell you it is very destructive to the hobby because it means only rich people can play. And the whole point of a reprint, I own these cards. I'll be honest, I own Leovolts. You know I own Leovolts because I've opened cases and cases of stuff. You know I own most of these cards in the original foil. I own most of them in four to eight copies of them, depending on how much I like them. Sometimes even more. I say... Reprint them into oblivion, make the packs free 99, 
and I'm okay with losing all my value modern because I'm smart enough to park some of my value in a reserve list. So I don't care about the modern. Yeah, I'm going to take a... I, I recently bought a ton of these cards. You guys know because you saw videos. I bought four lilies. I bought a ton of these cards that are being reprinted. Snaps and Leovolt and Micaiuses and Foil Tassigers and Engineer Explosives. I was very happy to see it because I said to myself, great, this will make more people be able to play the decks they want to play against me. I can play the originals and I enjoyed playing the originals and they're already in my decks and now it will bring new players to the game. But not at $335 a box, not at $35 a blister pack at Walmart and Target. I'll, I'll just end it this way. This is very greedy. This is incredibly greedy what they're doing because this product takes them less time, takes them less marketing. The product costs nothing for them to do, produce, compared to a new product where they have to, quote, play test it and develop, quote, new mechanics. This is the most lazy product they've ever made. It is a reprint of a reprint of a reprint. It is. It absolutely is. Karn Liberated was reprinted in Modern Masters 2015. It originally was from New Phyrexia. New Phyrexia wasn't even that long ago. So reprint of a reprint. Kozilak was also in Modern Masters 2015. A reprint of a reprint. Engineered Explosives. Manavolt was in Reset. <laughs> so recent. I mean, it's gross. It's gross. And the only way we can stop these blankers is if we do not buy this product. Just like what I said about the Modern Masters 20, 2015, the, the dumb eco boxes, right? Look, I love the environment, but my gosh, recyclable packs were, was a terrible concept. And I think everyone knew that. I have a video on it. Everyone knew it. But why are we trying to be recyclable, eco-friendly? We're magic players. This is going to be the worst product in the history of magic. And let me tell you why. It's the haves and the have-nots. You're moving this product. You're saying that if you cannot buy this product, you shouldn't play magic at this level. You shouldn't play this type of magic. These cards are not for you. And I understand a lot of people make the argument that, oh, not everyone has to buy every card. I get it. That makes sense to me. But what are you saying? Like, what are you saying at this price point? These are cardboard cards. Literally has been reprinted as a promo. It has been reprinted in Modern Master 2017. It was in Innistrad. And now it's reprinted again. It's... So, I could get this if the product was really well developed and it made sense. Now, of course, they're going to say, oh, we tested it to draft, and that is not the case. Otherwise, why do we have Tree of Redemption and a master product? Like, is anyone really, like, interested in drafting Tree of Redemption? Is that, like, the card that people are interested in drafting, and that's why it's a mythic there? No, we have it to for the expected value to lower it. This is going to be bad. Um, this is going to be bad because a lot of new players will come to this game. They'll spend a bunch of money. Like I'll, I'll be very honest with you. There will be opportunity here. There will be opportunity to kill it and make a killing in money. There always is. If you have a lot of money, like Rudy, you can manipulate the markets. You can buy a wholesale. You can make a ton of money on any product almost, especially a product with this type of margin. And I could I could benefit from it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to this product. I'm not going to open any of it. I'm not going to buy any of it. Just like what I did with Modern Masters 2015, no. I don't agree with its philosophy. I don't like where it's heading. I didn't like that we were heading towards cards that automatically damage themselves. I thought that was really dumb. And I didn't like where we're heading now with the mythic of mythics. 
it's sad when a company has to ask its player base during Christmas time for $335 for a box of 24 packs. It is really sad when we have to reprint Liliana for the 18th time or the third time in less than two years. It is sad. It is very, very sad when we had failed master set after failed master set, iconic, master 25. And now we have another master set. I thought they said we weren't going to get a master set for two more years. This is terrible news uh, for the whole Magic player base because it favors the wealthy. It favors the people with the money. The people with these cards will throw in your face. Oh, you can only afford a $100 Liliana? Check out my $250 full art foil Liliana. You suck. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. The main reason people use realistic counterfeits is they don't want to feel bullied and don't want to feel threatened at their local FNM when the guy who's been playing forever starts pulling out his dual land and said, oh, you only have... Uh, you only have a proxy, a uh, proxy. You know, I, I hate the attitude of elitism in our game, and this is promotion of it because now we have another special edition that the only the wealthy can afford. There's no way a beginning player is going to spend, it's going to be like, hmm, can I get a Nintendo Switch with a Smash game and still have money to eat at the uh, Burger King? And I can order, or the Wendy's, I can order several Junior McCheeseburger wedges. Or, <laughs> buy 24 blanking packs of cards. <laughs> My gosh, now understand, we went from $2.99 to $3.99, which is fine, that's inflation. Then $3.99 to $6.99, the first Modern Masters. Then $6.99 to $9.99, which is the newer Modern Masters, the new Master Series. And then we went from $9.99 to what is it 13.99 when is it going to stop like when if you don't say no they're not going to stop that is the only way that we can punish them and that's what i do in my mobile games a lot i if i am not happy with the mobile game i stop spending and all i tell all my whale friends to stop spending i'm going to tell all my friends who still buy this crap to stop and we're all going to not buy it. And we'll see what they do. And it's the principle. It's like when... If everyone agrees not to buy something... Or a large majority agree that this is not a good way. We're not going the right direction. We should not be rolling in that direction... Where we're going to hit $1,000 a box eventually. Because it's not good for anybody. Then the people who don't... Who like this. Who want to try and make money from it. Don't let them make money from you. It's very simple. We don't need a $250 version that comes from a $350 box. Like, who needs this stuff? It's the same card. Like, that's what I don't get. I don't get why... I really don't understand this product at all. Because it's a reprint product, but the price is going to do nothing to help the cards. It only increases the elitism and magic because now we have a new premiere edition of the same cards so not only is that liliana that hundred dollar liliana that you play from innerstrad is not good enough now you need this new foil liliana oh you don't have the new foil liliana you must be poor terrible terrible behavior Again, do not buy this. I'm not going to buy this product. This is a trash product. Bye, guys.